Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So before I just go ahead and proceed with the actually infecting my own VMware computer, Windows computer, I would just like to tell you how in, or if someone else tries to go ahead and hack into your computer, may it be Linux or uh, Windows, how to save it yourself. Always use the most latest antivirus and have it updated at, at every point of time. Be aware with the latest software updates and your security updates for either your Linux or your uh, Windows distribution. And don't open emails and attachments that you don't know of. It may be you are running a Linux or you are using a, a Windows operating system, it doesn't matter. Just don't go ahead and open that. Straight away delete that and don't even check the emails that you don't know. Always check the updates of your antivirus regularly and make sure the antivirus you have installed is not uh, any random antivirus from your torrent. Always go ahead and buy them because anything you uh, go ahead and download from torrent or from Pirate Bay, they may already be have been infected and if uh, instead of going ahead and protecting your computer, you may yourself go ahead and invite a Trojan horse to go ahead and uh, destroy your own computer. Uh, and that's not it uh, from my end. The most important thing that I'll tell you, in case you are using any version of Linux, just go ahead and in install the rootkit hunter so that even if you had uh, some th any other virus inside uh, your computer you may be able to still go ahead and save yourself so just go ahead and type apt hyphen get install and just type rk h-u-n-t-e-r rk hunter and just type yes and hit enter and yes Okay, I think I'll have to run apt get update first. And not yet updated since a very long time. Okay. Okay, I think I'll have to go ahead and uh, use my username password to first access my internet. Just let me start it. Yep, it's my internet. We see what's happening. Okay. Need to enter the username password, I believe. Okay, let me check if I'm allowed to enter anything else. I'll just go ahead and log in it over here. Okay, perfect. Proceed now. Let's check. Uh, did you install RK Hunter? No, I'll just first go ahead and update everything. Okay, perfect. It's working right now. If you're using any other Linux distribution such as Ubuntu or Fedora or something like that and you want to install RK Hunter, you can go ahead and download it from the GIT hub. I'll just go ahead and show you or the source for as well uh, as you can see. And there are different ways. I'll just go ahead and type. As you can see that there are different ways as to how you can go ahead and install the rootkit hunter in your system. This is already from the GIT hub. If you're not using Cal Linux or the source repositories, um, just go ahead and add them in any of your Linux distribution and then go ahead and uh, install that. So let me just uh, go ahead and wait. Perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect, so I'll just go down clean. Perfect. Okay, perfect. And if you want to update the RK Hunter, then just have RK Hunter and hyphen update. Okay. 
okay in one option update let me check if i could run this okay just go and type c and it will automatically check all the commands and it will just go and detect everything whether you have been infected or not it will scan each and everything from over there uh, perfect it will what it's uh, doing in short is that detecting whether uh, anyone else has not created a backdoor under your computer and anyone else does not have a rootkit under your computer that's what it does exactly as you can see there was nothing found over here so in files and directories let's check there have been only just warnings about this such a root access uh, and nothing else so you don't you just can just go and ignore that the reason being that I have run this through root and if I had run this through any other user it would simply have uh, ran without warning the only thing we were not able we got this warning because I run it actually through root okay so yeah perfect so now let's start with going ahead and gaining access into someone else's computer so we make sure that you have windows 7 active over here what we will be doing is that we would be creating a simple virus we would be sending it on our windows 7 computer and then we would be going ahead and modifying stuff just from over here so that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i would be actually going ahead and going ahead and running these viruses and get access to the windows 7